irony, of course, is that I now write a lot of JavaScript so other people don't have to. But um, it's a very useful tool, and I'd love to show you some of it. Please do. Um, so here's a very simple example. Uh, we have an interactive plot um, with some uh, sliders and a little um, a little uh, text thing here. Whoops, I can't type. So we do, hello, Strata. Um, so it's just updating live. But normally, in my previous world as a web developer, you'd have to do a lot of hookup to make this work. But with Bokeh, you can write this all in Python. It connects the front end of your website back to the server on your client, which means that you can put the power of the entire PyData stack, which is machine learning. It's, um, it's a whole bunch of statistics packages. It's, um, it's uh, reaching out to clusters. It's grabbing your other data. It's streaming your new data in. You can bring all of that stuff in, and you can put it in the hands of users through a, through a web page with some very simple code and no need to know your web technology. That seems very helpful. So what were people doing prior to Bokeh? Um, people were struggling. So uh, you meet data scientists that have had to go through the pain of learning how the web works, learning some D3, and building amazing things. But I think um, this is just one of these tools that reduces a lot of the friction. So it was definitely possible before. But what used to have maybe been you know, $10,000, two weeks of work, like a very expensive thing, is now 100 lines of code, and you can do it yourself. So it's an amazing tool. It is amazing. Uh, where can people find more information if they want to follow up? Sure. So we have a web page, bokeh.pydata.org. We have a Gitter channel where people can get live support. We have a Twitter account, Bokeh Plots, where you'll find out about all of our latest updates. And we have a mailing list. And one of the things I'm really proud of, and Brian, my colleague, um, has worked really hard on, is that we have a wonderful community of people, roughly 700 people on the mailing list now. So now users are helping other users, and it's really blossoming into a strong open source project. My history with Bokeh is I used to be a web developer, and uh, but a web developer that didn't really like JavaScript very much. And Bokeh lets you write all of your data visualizations, and they live in the web browser, but you don't have to write any JavaScript, which is kind of a miraculous thing.